is kind of where I wish I had a grapple. We got, this whole thing's gonna have to get cleared out aside from uh, the standing trees. They're all falling over, they're all rotting because of this vine stuff that's growing. It's just brush garbage. So it's ruining all the trees down here. I just realized that we have a, like probably 10 to 20 trees that have fallen and they're widow makers right now, I would call them. They're kind of in that leaning, this one's leaning right now and it's, I'm just trying to push it down to the ground because this is where our horses will walk. Uh, right in here. Um, we don't need any of the horses getting hurt or blocking or it's kind of where if it fell it would crush our fence so and to try to avoid all those things at once just kind of push it a little farther back. It is making me want to look at grapples on Craigslist again though and just kind of see what's out there. Uh, trying to save for a house but um, might not be a bad investment because they last. You see the ones from like 1999 Bobcat models and they still look like they're brand new. They're probably painted up but they function fine. Um, just grab all this stuff and pull it out of here and uh, burn it. I think it'd be sweet clean this whole section of woods out uh, with the skiddy. Um, but uh, I don't know, I just thought I'd turn the video on here while I push some trees. It's just all dry garbage. It's too bad. A lot of woodpeckers and something down here. And a lot of trees falling over. I don't know what's going on. If we got some sort of disease in the trees down here, but this isn't close to any fields. This is just out in a pasture by a swamp. Not sure uh, why we're having issues, but without a grapple, I'm always gun shy because I'm afraid that one of the trees is going to snap back on me and come through the window. I've had it where they've hit the side window, and I don't know how it didn't break the actual window because it was between the screen, the protective screen, the branch hit. But uh, just trying to push it back. I mean, if I got a grapple, I could come in here and just just grab all that one grab uh, I think wherever my house ends up is I want to be in the county so I'll end up buying a skin loader no matter what um, I don't know I'm not sold on a, a particular brand um, I have Bobcat now and it's, it's, uh, it's been pretty problem free um, however can't completely fault the cat. The cat we had had um, had a thou no, at least 800 more hours on it than this one did. And I'm fairly confident it was a rental machine. The more and more I worked on that machine, the cat one, I'm fairly confident that it was a rental machine. So no fault of its own. The cat was just worn out. Uh, would I entertain the idea of having another cat? Maybe. But. Uh, our dealer does a good job here in Faribault and they deal Bobcat. Let's see if we can just break this off. And they deal Bobcat, so. Um, would I end up with another Bobcat? I don't know. I don't know. John Deere's are sharp, but you pay for the price. Um, I don't know. I don't really care, I don't think. But So it's just kind of like finding a grapple, which I'm sure you can get adapters. I know nothing about uh, skid loader attachments that have hydraulic attachments in terms of, you know, are they interchangeable, which I'm pretty sure they mostly are. If not, maybe they are. Um, or you could probably get adapters for them. Um, there, that's kind of cleaned up a little better. You can see there's one leaning right there, but it's a little too squishy for me to get all the way back there. And uh, got a couple other things to take care of here before I go to work tonight, so. I don't want to get too carried away, but just push some of this back. There's that garbage root stuff that just, it's so, it doesn't even really grow in the ground much. It just kind of binds all over the place. It wraps around trees and then it kills them. Like this one here is starting to get killed. So we'll probably, um, we'll probably clear this whole place out. Uh, it might look kind of thin when we're done, but uh, in the long run, it'll come out a lot better. Pushing some stuff back. I think there's a few over here I could probably go get. But uh, I'm just trying to take care of some of this stuff because once uh, once I get into planting mode and I'm working my normal shifts and then planting on my days off, uh, stuff at home tends to kind of slip. So I'll. Uh, 
Bobcats, uh, those like E32s, E35s with those extendable arms, those rigs are pretty sharp. Um, it'll be a nice little tiling machine to kind of find tile lines and start the tile plow out. And it's light enough where you can still pull it around with a pickup pretty easy because I think those E32s only weigh like 8,000 pounds. Um, so those will be a sharp little machine too, I don't know. But need to get into running a running a business that way and digging around houses or something you'd end up hitting a hitting an electrical line or something even my lock even though you do that they call it gopher on here for, what is it call 411 before you dig no 811 811 before you dig or something like that so we're just uh clearing out some tree lines clearing out on the field lines Maybe you can see right about, so I'm trying to look at my phone, right about there, there's a massive brush pile that's probably 12 feet tall, probably uh, 20 by 20. Um, we were just in a burn ban, had a lot of grass fires in the area, small ones though, but um, the ban's lifted, so if it gets calm, 